do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So per a viewer request a while back, they wanted to showcase how to make PS2, SMB, OPL work with Windows 8.1. So for this tutorial, I actually had to install 8.1 on my second computer here, updated it, and I got everything working on the first time. So let me show you what I did and hopefully that works for Windows 8.1 gamers out there. I'm still surprised there's still 8.1 users out there. I would hope that hopefully everyone moved over to 10, but I know people love 8.1. Maybe you're on Windows 7, right? So if you have Windows 7 or 8.1 or Windows 10, um, I definitely have PS2 videos for 7 and 10. And of course, this will be the first 8.1 video ever in regards to SMB. So let's get into this real quick here. So the first thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and set up our network sharing and settings and also the IP uh, static IP address on our computer. So what we're going to do is go to the start menu here. I'm going to say go to control panel, right? Okay. Here, what we're going to do is go to network and sharing center and go to change adapter settings here, right click your ethernet port, go to properties, and then go down to TCP IPv4, say properties. And this is where we're going to add a static IP address. So when I did my windows 10 tutorial, I had a Reddit user, um, say, hey, I should probably explain this a little bit better. So I'm going to do that right now for this 8.1 specific tutorial. So when you select your static IP address, I know a lot of PS2 homebrew out there uses this default 192.168.0. whatever. So in this particular case, I'm going to be a one. Now, if you're using a router, for example, and let's say you're going to disconnect your PS2 from your PC and you can connect your PC back to your home network, make sure these first three groupings uh, matches the rest of your home network. So a lot of times routers use 192.168.0.x, you know, where x is any number up to 255. Um, other routers might be 192.168.1.x, you know, or 2.x, or I have a mesh router, so it's going to be a 10.0.0.x. So for purposes of this tutorial, to make it simple and clean, we're going to do the most common, 192.168.0.x. In my case, I'll force this PC to use number one. So that mask 255, 255, 255, zero, say OK. So we're good there. And then we're not done just yet, guys. So what we're going to do is go back to here under Network and Sharing Center, change advanced sharing settings. So under private, it's going to be on, on, allow. And then here is going to be on and on. And then all networks is going to be on 128 and turn off the password protection sharing, go ahead and save those changes. These are the settings that work great for me and it should work great for you as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and play around with our PS2 folder. So I have a folder on my desktop, it's called PS2 SMB. You can really call it whatever you want. Um, inside this folder, I have my games ripped and converted properly for use with OPL. Um, this tutorial is not gonna go into that into that specifics. I have other tutorials and a PS2 modding playlist if you're curious on how to do this. But basically I have one game in the DVD folder and we're gonna be showcasing that today, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So how do we share this properly? So what we're gonna do is right click the top level folder, go to properties, and then under the sharing tab, click on share. So let's pretend that you have like one or maybe you have other users here. We're gonna to add to everyone user. So everyone add permission level, read slash write. That's what I like to use, say on share. Okay, next we go to advanced sharing. So originally you go to share this folder, click on this box. Hopefully you have a share name that pops up. If not, you can click on add, add the name, call it PS2 SMB, add it, and now you have it in the box, okay? Or drop down rather. Then go to permissions, here, everyone, and then say allow. So everything is checked here, say apply, say okay, say apply, say okay. Um, let's say apply if it's, if it's clickable and then say close. So we just set up the network side on the computer or your laptop. And then I'm just using a regular cat five cable or cat five E or, you know, a cat six cable from my computer to the, to the PS2. And with newer technologies these days, you don't need a dedicated crossover cables like you do in the nineties and eighties or whatever. Computers are pretty smart now to do that auto translation to make it behave like a crossover cable, so to speak. 
Okay, so now let's go to the PS2 side of things. So on my PS2, let's open up Ab Studio here. Let's turn on some audio here. And then one thing I do want to showcase is let me go back to my control panel and I'm going to show something because I know one user was curious about this. And that is the adapter for the Ethernet. Here we see it's an X, right? So when we go to the PS2 and when everything is connected, we'll see this X disappear. So let me showcase that real quick here. So if I go to OPL and my OPL is already pre-configured ahead of time with the correct network settings. Once it has launched OPL and it has detected my um, shared folder, everything is good. And then my ethernet connection will not be read anymore. So here we go. See, look, it's disappeared and everything is good. So let me go full screen on this ob studio here. And let me show you my network settings. So what I do is press start, go to network settings, and you can go ahead and follow along here. So this is off. This is auto. This is static IP address. This is your static IP address. You're going to give to your PS2. So in the most common popular example, 192.168.0.2, two is for the PS2 here. Um, I am, this is the mask, 255, 255, 255, zero. The gateway, just make it match your PC IP address to make things simple. 192.168.0.1. DNS, DNS server, same thing. SMB server, address type, IP. Address, this is your PC or laptop IP address you gave it earlier in the video today. So 192.168.0.1 is what I did. For your situation, you can copy along. Maybe you might be a 192.168.1.1 maybe. Or maybe you're a 10.0.0.1 maybe. So do whatever is works best for your network. But in this particular example, 192.168.0.1 will work out great. Port 445, share, PS2 SMB, the user, guest, and then password, no password. So it's going to say not set basically. And let's go to reconnect. Okay, and save changes. Okay, so as everything is good with your network, you should see your game or games load up on OPL. If you get something like SMB error 300 or 301 or something like that, then you need to recheck your network settings and also recheck your IP address. If you're using Windows 10, I know this is a Windows 8.1 video, but if you happen to use Windows 10, you might want to check to make sure your SMB v1 is also enabled. But I have a dedicated video on that. See the PS2 modding playlist. And if you're a Windows 7 user, um, I have a different Windows 7 video in the playlist as well. This is the first video I have actually showcasing Windows 8.1 SMB share for the PS2. So very exciting times. Actually, I didn't realize there are people out there using Windows 8.1. I guess there are. Um, I've always been a Windows 10 user for the longest time here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to arcade mode, just showcase this game working real quick here. I personally like SMB, there's no lag. Um, it's better than USB. If you're a fat PS2 user, I know um, users out there, they like to use their internal hard drive, so that's a great solution too. If you don't have a internal hard drive, you just have a network adapter, or you have a slim PS2, or maybe you're running for a tuner project, hey, SMB is a great way to go with OPL. So that's today's PS2 tutorial with Windows 8.1, SMB share, and how to get everything working. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, let me come here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.